And welcome back inside the Kyle Quarter video blog. Coming to you this time from Sacramento, California. The Coyotes out west getting set to take on UC Davis here on Saturday evening uh, at Aggie Stadium in Davis, California. And joining me once again for our three things with JVG video blog. It is Joe Van Gore, the voice of USD football. And Joe, obviously coming off the loss to Kansas State, an FBS opponent. Now the Coyotes really get their first measuring stick of the season as they take on their first FCS opponent in Cal Davis uh, on Saturday evening. And uh, a few things that stand out, first of all, from Kansas State, some of the young guys that got into action uh, on Saturday last week, uh, they're seeing their first action at the collegiate level. Uh, and, and while the numbers may not jump off the page, there were some things uh, that maybe you can get excited about with these young guys. Well, the coaching staff answered a recruiting need, recruiting speed. That's why you see Mike Frederick. That's why you see Nate Gunn. That's why you see Shamar Jackson. And that's why you see Danny Rambo. Uh, Rambo's a wide receiver. Uh, Shamar Jackson is a jack of all trades. Uh, and both uh, uh, Nate Gunn and Mike Frederick uh, are running backs. And uh, we saw them on the field a lot. Of course, uh, backing up Trevor Bauma in the running game and also backing up uh, Eric Schuford in the return game as well. Certainly got a little bit of a glimpse into the future of Kyle football with those young guys getting out there, getting some action, albeit against a very strong opponent in Kansas State. So certainly uh, good to see those guys that are that are deemed by this coaching coaching staff to be so talented that they can't keep them off the field. They can't afford to redshirt these guys. No, but you know the fact is that they are true freshmen. They are going to make freshman mistakes. But uh, uh, the Coyotes as a whole kept the mistakes to a minimum uh, last week. No turnovers, just a couple penalties for 11 yards uh, as these guys watch what the upperclassmen do I mean that's when they'll really kind of get into the flow of things and get more comfortable as well well as we know uh, nobody young or older uh, had much success last week running the football against Kansas State and that is a stout defensive front certainly that the Wildcats bring to the table you look back at their numbers from last year nobody I don't care who it was really aside from maybe Baylor and TCU was running the football against that team so uh, it's not really so much a shot at the Coyotes based on what they were able to get done just 61 yards uh, in total Total rushing last week it's more of a credit to Kansas State and what they are but that being said hugely important for that running game to get back on track here against Cal Davis that's right uh, even though uh, uh, Ryan Sager a career high 205 yards passing 18 of 30 uh, you know he he played a, for the most part a clean game a lot of guys got touches on the balls as far as receiver but you have to have that balance Kansas State had that balance Coyotes need that balance and uh, they need uh, Trevor Bama to uh, uh, to uh, get that get into that seam that the offensive line will break open for him hopefully on Saturday night. Uh, UC Davis and, and uh, USD played in the season opener just a couple of years ago. Trevor Bama, that was his first game as a collegiate running back. He had a pretty good day. So, you, so based on that experience, you got to think Trevor might be in line to, for a nice rebound effort here on Saturday. That's right, but he has some help. He's got uh, Mike Frederick and Nate Gunn backing him up. You know, Corey Kilgore is also in the mix. Drew Potter will be important as, uh, you know, a fullback blocking for Trevor or whoever's in the backfield on Saturday night. Certainly uh, important to, to establish that running game again. Uh, set the tone because this team is a run-first team. Joe Glenn has made that very clear throughout this week. Yes, Ryan Sager did have a very good game last week. Uh, showed a lot of poise, showed a lot of command, uh, showed some accuracy, showed that he can play that position uh, and, and, and serve that passing game well, but no bones about it. This is a running team. It will remain that way under Joe Glenn. Uh, so the Coyotes, that is uh, priority number one, certainly, I think, coming into this game uh, for them. Finally, we want to take a look at the, the road woes, and there have been a lot of them. Uh, USD has not had a lot of success on the road. That has been well documented, but it, it comes ironically – on a weekend where five years ago today, September 11th, is when the University of South Dakota upset Minnesota. That is the last time USD has won a road game outside. Outside, outside is right. but And, of course, uh, the, the road win uh, back a couple years ago coming at uh, UNI, you know, when the Coyotes were trailing 28-7 to in the third quarter, one in uh, double overtime. Uh, I know that question gets asked of the coaching staff. I know the players get asked that as well. Uh, it's tough to win on the road, but uh, you kind of get the feeling that the makeup of this team, you know, the way they have experienced players uh, coming back, the way that, you know, when you're so close, you know, something good has got to happen. And I know that's what Coach Glenn really wants is something good to happen to this team. 
what better good thing to happen would be to come out here, you know, after being on the road last uh, weekend at Kansas State, to come all the way to California and get a big win. Just pivotal, I think, for, for the, the future of this particular season, to yes. get, a ro- get a road win in this football game and really give yourself some momentum when you do step outside the Dakota Dome uh, because that Valley Slate, of course, there, there's a bunch of games you're going to be playing on the road. If you want to be successful in that league, you've got to figure that part of it out. That's right, and and of course, this is the middle game of the three-game evaluation period. Kansas State, UC Davis, Drake University uh, next Saturday when the home opener at, at the Dakota Dome. Uh, the coaching staff will have a better idea of uh, the, the handle on this team, what uh, needs to be adjusted, you know, with the bye week, and then going into the Dakota Dates game on October 3rd, um, you know, the uh, Valley opener with Youngstown State. All right, that's it. Another installment of Three Things with JVG here in the Kyle Corner video blog. Thanks to you for your time, uh, Joe, and your contributions here. Uh, remember, it's a 6 o'clock local time kickoff here on Saturday at Aggie Stadium. That means 8 o'clock central time, so you want to make note of that for sure. Uh, we, of course, Joe, will be calling all the action uh, on the radio. I will be uh, shooting the contest each and every, like I do each and every week, uh, and you can certainly follow me on Twitter uh, for live game update updates at Elson Midco SN. All right, for Joe Van Gore, I'm Jay Elson. Thanks for watching.